It's Sunday, September 29th, and uh, like I said in the last video, we couldn't get up here yesterday. I was uh, out of town for work. I had a very long day on Friday. I ended up working a uh, 21 and a half hour uh, day that I was working on a network project for one of our offices, but I uh, got that all taken care of, so not too much sleep yesterday. Um, got a good sleep last night though, boy, I tell you what, that was long, many hours of sleep. So we're back at it uh, today and going to start looking and working on the wing cuffs that go up here. And this hold down strip actually came out really uh, pretty good with that 2216. We had gotten everything cleaned up out of there once it started to cure up and get a little bit hard. Um, pulled that out or pulled the masking tape off of there and we do have a little bit Just there's a few spots where there's a little bit of a gap in there and that's we'll get that Filled in with more 2216. We'll remask this off and we'll do a fillet around that window with some 2216 also uh, On the ends here. I think we're gonna fill that in a little bit and uh, Probably go with what uh, Derek commented and said. I saw it on his video. Is we'll just put we'll squeeze some out of that or mix it up. I guess of the 2216. We'll let that sit for a couple hours until it starts to harden. Until it's almost kind of like a maybe a paste or uh, maybe like a pro seal consistency. And we'll fill this in right here. Uh, get that in there and get that on a cure. So that's uh, the two things we're looking at today. Uh, so we'll get going on that. Well, we've got this all prepped up and ready for the wing cuffs. We have one taped on over there, but we've got this prepped, uh, masked off and ready for adhesive for the wing cuffs when they go on there. We do need to figure out the, there's a close out, a gap seal that goes here. Uh, we need to figure that out, how that's going to fit and interact with the wing cuff. And we also have to, uh, we need to spray the inside of the wing cuffs. These are gray, so we're gonna spray those black on the inside so um, they don't show through this hole right here. Uh, what else? We've got this prepped for, uh, I'm going to do a 2216, gonna do a fillet of 2216 in here. And we did have to uh, I have this all taped up now, but um, I did 
um, take some 2216. We let it set up for a couple hours till it got nice and thick. And then I sealed this up here where this uh, hold down strip, where there's a gap in there. And we've got that taped off and that's gonna cure. Uh, not gonna see that today. I'll show that when we take the tape off. But so we've got this prepped and ready to go. We've got this prepped here. I think we're gonna do the same thing. I think we're gonna do a 2216 on here. And I know that stuff bonds to metal. Um, but it's paintable and so I don't want to do a silicone seal on here and then when we go to paint the airplane you can't put any paint on it. So I'm going to do 2216 and if a time ever comes when this has to come off uh, we've got much bigger problems than having to worry about um, that little tiny line of 2216 that's on there that could be probably sanded off or ground off or like I said if if we're at a point where we got to take this off we've got some major issues going on and that's a very small problem. Getting started on the wing root bottom gap seal, which is kind of a mouthful sometimes, wing root bottom gap seal. Getting started on this and um, the instructions, the way that they have the instructions or the figure shown is um, the screw hole here, they say these are gonna get screw holes uh, with Tinnermans uh, backing it. Um, so the way they show it aligned on the figure is it's actually in the spar. This is the spar goes back to here and that's where the wing is or the skin is riveted onto the spar. And that's all that's closed. There's no way to get a Tinnerman if you put this in position where it's supposed to be the way they depict. There's no way to get a Tinnerman in there. I think we're going to move ours back. We moved it back just enough to get a Tinnerman and the wing, the wing roots skin is back here. We can get a Tinnerman in there. So we're going to move this back a little bit, which means we're going to have a little tiny, probably about that much of a gap in this um, where the cuff comes down. So we're going to have to probably seal that up. So what that means on the back end of this gap seal is that we're gonna have to trim a little bit of this off. Looks looking like to be, what, about three eighths of an inch? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How much was it? This much. <laughs> she measured it. She measured it at a finger width and I say it's three eighths of an inch. Half. <laughs> half. A little bit more than half. More than half, okay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have to trim some of this off here to make it even with this, the backside of the skin. And also the hinge, uh, where the hinge plate is, it hangs down and originally they have a little bit of an indent taken out of it right here. Um, we're gonna have to extend that up to, looks like she's already got that marked. We're gonna extend that up to here uh, and make that cut out, that relief in there for that part. So that's where we're at on this wing root bottom gap seal. Um, so we're just gonna keep, keep looking at it here. Well, it was a pretty nice day today. It got uh, pretty toasty. I think we were in the low 90s. It's like 91 degrees in the hangar. So um, yeah, warm day today, but it is warm because it's gonna be cool tomorrow. I think we're only supposed to be in the 60s tomorrow. Big cool off coming. All right, done for today. And um, we got the those gap those gap seals here um, got that all drilled out and ready to go we're going to take those home and paint the inside of them so uh, we're going to have that satin black to match the other trim uh, that's on the airplane we didn't do i think i already talked about this didn't do the 2216 on here yet because we need to do this when we can do it early in the day and uh, be able to watch it and also it takes about four hours before we can peel the tape off and we didn't get a start an early enough start on it today where I could come back up 
uh, and take the tape off. So we'll do that the next time. And actually we're going to have another, I think it might be another next Sunday maybe before we get back up here. Got stuff going on again this week. We're so close, but we've got uh, things going on that are kind of occupying our other time. So we need to, once we get past that part of it, we should be able to maybe get a good push to the finish line on the airplane. But anyways, uh, everybody, thanks for watching the videos. Everybody have a good evening, and that's it for now.